Pokemon Scarlet and Violet were announced about two months ago at this point, and I certainly have had the itch to see some new Pokemon. So in the meantime, let's try to predict some of the Pokemon we could see in Gen 9. Hey everybody, Brandon here. So like our last video on this topic, check that out if you missed it. For this video, I will be drawing from ideas I had for my own Spain and Portugal based Fakemon region, Ispar, that I had scrapped a while back. Unlike the last video though, the Fakemon shown will be mostly other artists' work who had a similar concept to what I was thinking, just because I didn't have art made for these concepts but still wanted to talk about them. Before we get into these potential Gen 9 Pokemon though, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep up to date with future videos. So fun fact, did you know that a majority of the world's olive oil actually comes from Spain and not Italy or even Greece? Spain produces 44% of the world's olive oil, which is double Italy and four times Greece. That is 1.2 million metric tons of olive oil every year. So naturally, an olive Pokemon would be a great fit for a potential grass type, maybe even a common one like Oddish, Hopip, or Gossiflor. A great example of this is Alini by Rowlix ad. It definitely gives off that C dot or even Bounce Sweet kind of vibe. For an evolution, I imagined some kind of incorporation of olive oil into the design. For Isbar, I was planning some kind of pixie with olive oil wings. Think Rabombi vibes mixed with Lapis Lazuli from Steven Universe, but olive oil instead of water. Another potential grass type could be a tomato Pokemon to reference La Tomatina, a Spanish festival which thousands of people gather and throw tomatoes at each other. This event looks absolutely wild and is definitely a bucket list item for me. So I think a good fit for this would be some kind of grass fighting tomato Pokemon, kind of like Tamamo from Nordist. Though it isn't grass fighting type, this is kind of the idea I had for my region, but instead I would play up the tomato fists and give it more of a boxer feeling maybe even giving the evolution spikes like the tomato berries. I was actually very proud of the names I had come up with for my tomato Pokemon, so I wanted to share them. They would have been Tomatot and Romal. A certain kind of Pokemon that has existed in pretty much every generation of Pokemon is the ever-infamous Pika clone. Like them or hate them, there's definitely going to be one in this next generation. And I think a great candidate for a Pika clone would be the European Snowvol, which can be found in the Pyrenees mountain range. These little guys are so adorable and have the perfect proportions for a Pika clone. Obviously, since they are called the Snow Vol, they are more used to icy climates and would make for a brilliant electric ice type. We currently only have Rotom Frost and Arctozolt that have that type combo, so I think a Pika clone would fit right in with those. For Ispar, I had planned Shingoro. I had this one done by the incredible Kai underscore Fakemon SR. As you can no doubt tell, Shingro is a mix of a snow vole, a snow ball, and a snow man. I am a huge fan of the more bulbous Pika clones like Togedemaru or even the Dene. And after seeing the snow vole, I got the idea for a little snowball Pika clone that builds up kinetic energy by rolling itself down hills, eventually turning into snow boulders. Dangerous and cute. That's how I like my Pokemon. Shingoro's name comes from Shinshin, Shin, which is the Japanese onomatopoeia for the sound of snow falling, and Goro Goro for the sound of rumbling thunder. An animal that is also a great candidate for a Pokemon is the Bearded Vulture, also known as the Lammergeier. While I think this would make a very cool original Pokemon, I am leaning more toward it being a regional variant, specifically of Mandibuzz. In Legends Arceus, we got Hisuian Braviary. And from promotional material, we can see that Hisuian forms will make their way into Scarlet and Violet somehow. So I believe it makes a lot of sense for Mandibuzz to also get a regional variant, seeing as Mandibuzz and Braviary were very much counterparts in Gen 5, with that relationship continuing in each subsequent generation, and now could even be furthered in Gen 9. If not Mandibuzz, I could potentially see Spiro and Firo getting regional variants, as they are one of the few Gen 1 Pokemon that really haven't gotten much love in the way of forms, with their counterpart Pidgeot getting a Mega Evolution. Honestly, I think it would be really cool to see Firo get an evolution to finally match Pidgeot. I always found it strange how the two bird lines of Kanto had one with a three stage and the other that was a two, which just feels like Firo gets the short end of the stick. Something like this by Fistapuffs over on DeviantArt I think would work well. Either way, I think Ground Flying would be a great type combo for this concept. Seeing as Bearded Vultures get their rusty orange coloration by dust bathing, rubbing mud on their body, and drinking mineral rich water. Another animal that is pretty big in the Iberian Peninsula is the Iberian Pig. 
No pun intended. These pigs are renowned for their striking black coloration and their high quality meat. They are one of the few examples of swine that have adapted very well to a pastoral setting, and have taken to eating the acorns from the oak trees of the Iberian Peninsula, which is what gives them their highly prized meat product. Their population has drastically decreased since 1960 due to outbreaks of the African swine fever. I could definitely see a new pig Pokemon. Maybe a dark type to reference the coloration, or even a poison type to reference the disease that has caused a decline in its population. A good example of this is Porcoink from the Dalera region. I could also see a dark or poison type variant of Spoink and Grumpig. I always thought Grumpig looked like it should be part dark type and even has Grump in its name, despite not looking very grumpy. Either way, I could definitely see an Iberian pig Pokemon happening. A Pokemon that has been one of the most highly requested that I have seen in the community is a Pokemon based on a dolphin. We have nearly 1,000 Pokemon with two regions prominently featuring water, yet we still have not seen a dolphin Pokemon. And yes, I realize that Lantern is kind of inspired by a dolphin, but it is mainly a football fish. I am talking about a 100% no questions asked dolphin Pokemon here. I think Scarlet and Violet present a great chance for us to see a dolphin Pokemon. Given that by its very nature, the Iberian Peninsula is surrounded by water on almost all sides, and the Mediterranean Sea and Iberian coasts both house striped dolphins. A dolphin fake mon line that I would absolutely love to see enter the games are Splastro and Dementfin from the Loika region by Mycomon Regions. A water psychic type cosmic dolphin would be a perfect addition to the Pokemon roster, and would be something I would really like to see happen in these games. A kind of Pokemon that has become more frequent in recent generations are Pokemon based on food. One pretty famous food item that originated in Spain is the churro. In Spain, they traditionally dip their churros in chocolate, so I think it'd be really fun to see some kind of dark fairy churro Pokemon to reference dark chocolate and give us another Pokemon with that type combo. An idea I had that I think would be very cool, albeit unlikely, would be variants of Milkery and Alcreamy. I could see more of a dark brown and maybe even angry version of Milkery and a chocolate dipped cinnamon Alcreamy. Though, like I said, that is probably unlikely given that they were just in Gen 8, and that would mess with how customizable All Creamy is. Some regional variants that I would love to see are variants of Krogunk and Toxicroak. For Isbar, I had a really fun idea planned of ground fighting type variants of these two based on the Western Spadefoot Toad, also known as the Iberian or Spanish Spadefoot Toad. These guys have special shovel-like hind feet that allow them to dig into the ground really fast. I imagine Toxicroak, instead of having that special claw it has, could have a little spade-like protrusion instead. I think these concepts fit very well together and would really enjoy seeing something like this in Gen 9. That's all my predictions for new Pokemon for now. Make sure to let me know what you think of them in the comments down below. Hopefully we get some new Pokemon news soon and I can either be proven right or very very wrong. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also, make sure to follow me on my other socials linked in the description. Thank you all so much for watching, and with that, I will see you guys next time.